Here are five common myths about Asperger's syndrome which are not true. Hey guys, welcome back to the Asperger world. My name is Dan. I have a diagnosis of Asperger's syndrome and ADHD, and I make weekly videos all about this type of content. So if you're new around here and you want to learn more and come on this journey, then make sure you hit the subscribe button by clicking the notification bell down below. Also, if you're watching on any other platform, make sure to give this page a follow. Guys, what's going on? Oh, there are so many myths about Asperger's syndrome. Now, it's really funny. Um, just to be clear, Asperger's syndrome is still a diagnostic uh, nomenclature. It was removed from the DSM-5 in 2013, which is basically the handbook for diagnosing things in the healthcare industry for neurological and mental health conditions back in 2013 from the American Health Board, which we do use over here in Britain as well. But people in Britain and further afield in the world can still be diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. Uh, that's just a little bonus myth tip for you right there. But we have five coming up right now. But before I get into it, I just want to say, if you haven't already downloaded my Life Hacks PDF book for autism, it's completely free and you can do at autismhacks.net right now. It's completely free. Okay, so the first one I'm going to talk about here is Asperger's is just a label for shy and awkward behavior. No, no, no. This is a huge misconception. A lot of people think that Asperger's syndrome is something that people can just throw about and be like, oh, I have Asperger's, so that means that I'm a bit shy or a bit anxious. And that's not actually true. Asperger's is a neurological condition. It is autism spectrum disorder. That's what it's named right now. And Asperger's is something that's clinically diagnosed. It's diagnosed by a clinician in a practice and, it, and it's a full-on proper diagnosis it's not just an excuse for someone who's a little bit awkward or a little bit shy and a little bit kind of like quirky those people may have asperger's syndrome but it's not something that you just say not like you know you just have to cuff well i'm a bit shy but you don't need a diagnosis to be shy you just say you are asperger's is not like that it's completely different it is a diagnosis and it can be quite serious at times too okay so number two is really interesting this is one that really gets on my goat this is that people with asperger's syndrome lack empathy now empathy is putting yourself in somebody else's shoes right now look the reason they say this is because people with asperger's syndrome will view their airpoint and the person may get offended by that and the person with asperger's syndrome may not understand why that person's offended because they're just saying the truth now a lot of people would say if you can see from their point of view that's hurtful now one of the most interesting things about this is that the person who has Asperger's syndrome doesn't lack empathy, they just lack the ability to literally see it from the other person's point of view without somebody saying, hey, this is how that person feels. If you turn around and say to a person with Asperger's syndrome, hey, that made me feel like X, Y, Z, then the person with Asperger's would go, huh, I feel that deeply because they feel things deeper. They feel them on a more intuitive level than kind of like just face value. And that is just so interesting because it's empathy on a really deep level. When it's explained, it's a communication issue. So if you don't tell someone something, how are they supposed to know? You know what I mean? Like these unspoken social rules are one of the biggest difficulties that people on the autism spectrum face with every single day. Okay, so number three is that everybody with Asperger's syndrome has savant-like abilities. Now this means super genius, like, you know, could build rockets and stuff like that. Now, yes, people who typically who diagnose Asperger's syndrome do have an above to quite high intelligence and IQ, but it doesn't mean that every single person diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome is going to be a super genius. But you have things like Elon Musk, who's like building rockets and like electric cars and stuff, and he's got Asperger's syndrome. So you, the popularity of the idea of the term gives you this blanket statement, you know, you're going to be like Rain Man and like, you know, uh, Elon Musk, but that's not how it is for every single person. I know people on, on the autism spectrum diagnose with Asperger's who actually don't like maths and are uh, not very good with maths. They may have skills in other areas, but it doesn't mean they're super genius. This is a huge misconception, and it's something that people have to understand. Okay, so number four is that Asperger's syndrome is a childhood disorder that disappears with age. Oh my goodness, like, if I had a dollar for every time people said, like, it's a childhood thing, they grow out of it, or I've heard people say, like, oh, I had Asperger's when I was a kid, but I grew out of it. It's not like that. It's a neurological condition. It's how the neurological paths in your brain mended when you were being born or being fused together. It does not disappear as you get older. It is not just a childhood disorder. Yes, you can get diagnosed with it as a child, but there's also adults being diagnosed with it. I was diagnosed with Asperger's as an adult. It doesn't go away. Actually, as you, the older you get, it actually gets a, a lot more difficult. So this is a huge misconception. People think it's just something that kids can have. Um, and the same with ADHD. People think that ADHD is just for kids. It's like, yeah, well, guys, what is going on here? So that is a huge myth. And let's just get rid of it. Okay, so number five, really interesting. And this comes from um, 
the lack of knowledge around something moving forward. Now, this myth is that Asperger's syndrome can only be diagnosed in males. This is in untrue. This comes from the fact that the study, which was performed by Hans Asperger in 1942, was only studied on males because the Asperger's in males was presenting itself in a certain way, whereas it presented itself differently in females, they didn't have the technology to look at neurological interaction in the brain. So the papers from 1942 were taken as gospel right up until the 80s, until Lana Wing said, no, no, you know, there's, there's girls who have Asperger's and men who have Asperger's. And so it was a whole thing. But there's a, I can see how this myth came about, but I mean, like it's 2023, dude. It's like, let's, let's move on from this, right? Like it's, it's not just males. Females get diagnosed all the time with it. Guys, if you want to leave me a comment down below, please do. I read every single one and share this video if you think it was interesting. All right, see you in the next one. Peace.